you will be your starting quarterback this week? Uh, Coach Health will kind of make that whenever time is right. When would you like to have that starting decision made? Does it affect the guys at all? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I think they're preparing to go out and compete and whatever whatever kind of happens, happens. What caused you guys to maybe open up this quarterback competition? Uh, just trying to get the a spark for the offense, get the offense going and everything, and, and uh, practice through the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Justin's done a really good job of, in practice to kind of give us the idea that it is a competition in that way after uh, ending kind of two days. If you do put uh, Herbert in there as a starting quarterback, do you get worried at all about that true freshman going up against Washington's D-line? Well, I mean, it, it really, their D-line is exceptionally really, really good, and I mean, you worry about any of the quarterbacks against it. They've done a great job this year and a high number of sacks, so uh, I don't think it's just a freshman thing or a senior thing. It's just uh, we, our line's going to battle and compete and everything and give them time, and we got to make plays. What would you like to see out of the guy that takes the starting role for you? Uh, just to go out and execute the play. Don't overthink it. Don't over try to do too much. Just go out and make the plays that are there. Make the uh, make the normal. Make the rant. Make the simple plays, and let the let the guys around you do their jobs to make big plays. Handling first team reps with the quarterbacks. Uh, they just they've been competing, going back and forth, and guys are just uh, we're just kind of roughing them through doing practice. Since the quarterback battle was reopened, I guess you could say, have you noticed a difference in the demeanor of either Krupp or Herbert fighting for the job? No, I think, I mean, they, they compete really hard. I mean, uh, it's kind of very focused on practice and everything, but then off the field, you see them, they're still, they get, I mean, they're very good friends. They get along very well. They're, uh, they kind of, I think, kind of root for each other, but they also they're not rooting against the other guy to do something. They're just kind of working themselves to do the best they can. A guy like Justin, you know, he's from Eugene. Does he have, you know, uh, more expectations on him, you think, than, than a typical quarterback would, you know, given that there's so much buzz about him perhaps starting on Saturday? Well, I think he, he's going to put a lot of pressure on himself, and he does that every day in practice. He's, he's probably his toughest critic about what he's doing. He's never kind of happy with just an okay day. He wants to have a, a perfect day, which that's, we're constantly striving for that. But uh, I don't think he has any more than just any, any quarterback kind of does. When did you realize it was time to open up the quarterback competition? Uh, we, uh, as a staff, it was talked about uh, on Sunday and everything, so that was kind of the, the day we kind of – decided what we we're going to do this week and then just kind of Monday morning practice it started. Oh, I think it's a it's I mean it's Husky week it's a it's a big deal coach Wood uh, knows a lot about that and has talked a lot about it coach Cam because so many of our coaches have been here and been through the rivalry and kind of know all the backstory of it they kind of you know talk to the players about it and make it a and kind of get them to understand how big of a rivalry this is it's not just another game it's the it's Husky week and and how they're going to play and how we're going to play it kind of picks up but that's big games in the Pac-12. What was the staff's reaction when Coach Wood came out and said the streak's not going to end? Uh, I did not know that until someone said it yesterday and so uh, I've, I've got Coach Wood's back so here we go.